right now to show people that I am um, proud to be a recovering addict. I don't care if people know who I am or what I have done. Um, it's a step of moving forward. I became addicted to drugs back when I was 15. Um, and at that point in time in my life, it took everything. Um, I was on it for two years and then I got clean again. And then about a year ago I slept again. Um, it's ruined my marriage. It's ruined my relationship with my kids. Um, I have one child left at home now. It's ruined my relationship with him. Um, and I'm here to tell you, I'm at the ruin your life. It'll take everything, everything from the inside out for me. The System of Oyate Meth Prevention Program is all about networking. It's a three-year grant that we've had, and our main goal is to help people. I know on our reservation, we have um, a meth problem. I know on a lot of other reservations, they also have meth problems. When they were younger, I used to leave them because of my addiction. I lost them to child addiction because of my addiction and, you know, right now we're talking about, we're finally talking about how it affected her and she grew up without a mom and she really had some resentments towards me. So I was talking to her, I said, you know, everything that you felt when you was a little girl, you know, that's how your baby feels now, you know, because you're leaving her without a mother too. And I said, I can't go back and change what happened. I said, but you can change, you know, how your baby grows up. We conduct a talking circle for people who are recovering from the, from the drug. We do um, educational pre presentations to schools and at Dakota Pride. Whoever is, requests our um, presence, then we'll go and do that. Um, we also were there to meet with, um, we get a lot of calls and visits from parents, grandparents asking about, you know, well, I think my child is doing this or my son or my daughter. And so then we try to find resources to help. I want to know. I really yeah. do. As the, as, as the yeah. chairman of the tribe, over law enforcement, over his entities, over employees, all the constitutional powers that I have, because I think I think I got a problem that's affecting the well-being of our people, not just our not just the adults, but mm -hmm. but the older people and the children are being impacted negatively. Yeah. Uh, I want to know. I want to know where it's at. Where do we have to focus some of our attention and resources? I mean, it's, it, to me, it's a real wake up. This incident that happened with this little boy last weekend, that you know, he got his head beat in with a baseball bat, mm -hmm. I know that's alcohol and drugs. Yeah. You know, that's serious. That's, yeah, violent. that's a little guy of our community that probably, if he doesn't live, he'll never be the same. Yeah. And that bothers me. We had saved a little extra money in our program because um, we were supposed to buy home testing kits for all the tribal houses, and then instead we purchased the ion scanner, which you're gonna we'll give you a little demonstration of, and so that allowed us to save like almost $160,000 um, as opposed to buying these kits and then you know using the machine, because the machine will do um, the home testing and plus more. So we we invested in um, an ion scanner that. Cost us about forty-five thousand dollars. So Chris is here, um, and Tom, and they're going to um, explain the machine and um, how it goes with the, as far as detecting the drugs. As far as the machine, it, like she was saying, it picks up trace particles left behind, from fingerprints, shoe prints, 
basically anything. Um, I'm the only person that runs the machine, so it's not tampered in any way by anyone else. I calibrate the machine um, weekly and monthly maintenance on the machine that I do. And um, it detects about 100 different types of drugs and also about 50 types of explosives. And so I've took it to TZ and I found traces of heroin in lockers in the junior high side of it. Um, that I work with uh, Eric. He calls me, I go in there and test. Um, I took it to Dakota Sioux, Magic, found meth in the rooms. <clears throat> um, 